Hi, Andrew. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks. I wanted to ask you a little bit. I saw on social media that uh, you and your wife are expecting a child in July, and I wanted to ask you a little bit about that. Is that your first child? What's your emotions right now? And what kind of dad are you going to be? <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be my first child. Um, you know, I'm super stoked. Um, and, you know, it's all just under two months away. So, you know, the time, and it's kind of time's pressing, and I'm super excited for uh, him to finally arrive. And, yeah. All right, thanks. Thank you. Travis? Hey, Andrew, thanks for taking the time to do this with us today. Um, I have a one year, she turns one tomorrow. The first three months is pretty rough, but it gets great after that. So a uh, lot to look forward to for you there. Right, um, I heard you learn fast. Yeah, you do, you do. <laughs> My football question for you, Andrew, is this, uh, you know, last year you you talked about the goal of getting stronger in the off season and your coaches talked about that. You talked about it throughout the season. I'm wondering what your goal is this off season and how you're working to achieve that goal. Right, you know, um, it's kind of the same goal. Keep adding strength and be um, get faster, you know, um, and then just have a better knowledge of the playbook. You know, this being my third year in it um, to be able to be more assertive with my calls and um, adjustments. So I think that that's an, a huge part that I'm trying to improve on my game. Adam? Hey, yeah, Andrew, congrats on being a dad. It'll definitely change your life. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I, I wanted to ask you about Austin Jackson. Um, you went against him in practice, obviously, last year. You probably, I don't know if you have seen his development this offseason, have you? And what do you expect out of him in year two? Um, I think just the way that he comes into work on a daily basis. Um, you know, he's um, competitive, he's tough, and uh, he's going to do exactly what the coaches ask of him. So um, I think I expect him to make a big jump um, in his second year and um, just to continue to improve and get better. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to see how he progresses this year. Thank you. Armando. Hi, Andrew. So two months from now, training camp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to balance the, you know, the new baby and training camp? And that's my first question. And secondly, um, I'm wondering with more, uh, chances to more reps basically this year you see an opening for yourself for higher productivity um yeah first off with the baby uh you know it's gonna be tough you know trying to be a um, father and then a husband and um, just trying to raise a kid it, it's gonna be tough you know but I'm gonna do everything I can to you know be ready for a training camp um, so when I go home I can just relax and let all the stress is free um yeah and then um you know about productivity you know it's just doing everything that the coaches ask me to do you know be in the right spot um can do the right jobs communicating and helping other guys get aligned and so they can play fast you know and that ultimately is gonna bring us to achieve our goals as a defense and as a team Dolphin. Hey, Andrew, thanks for taking the time to uh, talk to us today and, and good luck this summer. Um, you know, going back to the product pro productivity question, um, you know, I saw last year you led the team in special team snaps. Um, you know, is that something that you definitely took pride in? And do you think that maybe playing some less special team snaps would allow you to, you know, have some more, you know, productivity like you're hoping for on, on defense? Um, <clears throat> you know, Flores prides, um, his self and his team on special teams. So obviously, you know, hearing that from him and um, just Danny Crossman and how important special teams are, I really took that to heart and um, just made the most out of my opportunities. So, um, you know, I'll continue to work hard and um, whatever my role is, I'm going to try to excel at it. Josh. Hey, Andrew, I apologize. My I, I'm having, I've been having issues with my camera and um, zooms earlier, but um, my question is, what what are your uh, early impressions of, of Jalen Phillips? Obviously, you know, he'll be a guy that's um, around you and, you know, within the same position group uh, a lot of your days. Uh, what, what have you, what's it been like getting to know him and what are your impressions of Jalen? Uh, it's awesome. Um, just seeing him come in and, 
you know, he's trying to take everything in, soak it up and um, just be the best version of himself. And, you know, he's here to compete and, um, you know, it's going to be a good training camp just to, you know, help work to work with him. Mike. Andrew, congratulations uh, on being a dad soon. And uh, thank you for taking the time today. I, I believe I read there's about 70 guys at camp right now for these offseason workouts. What, what has the mood been like? And has it been any different from the previous seasons that you have been here coming in? Uh, the mood's been great. I mean, <laughs> every time, anytime you can get around the guys and, you know, just um, catch up and um, spend quality time with them and build friendships and relationships, you know, it's, um, it's a blast. And, you know, the energy is always up on the first few days and um, whenever you're around each other. So um, it's been good. And uh, just being able to soak everything in as well, just the coaching and um, trying to get a better understanding of the playbook. It's, it's been a blast. If I could follow up real quick, has Coach Flo been the same coming into these offseason workouts and previously when you were you came in? Yeah, for sure. You know, he's you know, he's hard nosed and he's gonna make everything competitive and um he's gonna push you to be the best you can be and um come out there prepared. So yeah, I'd say he's been the same. I right, thank you again. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Omar. Andrew, I want to ask you, you're one of the guys who made that huge second year jump, uh, guys who, you know, had OK rookie seasons. And I know you were healthy, but what do you attribute to the, the, the increased role, the increased productivity that you had last year? I think it's just keeping my head down and going to work. Um, you know, I'm not a big uh, rah rah guy, but, you know, just doing all the little things right, doing everything that coach is asking me and um, to not sit here and. Um, complain, but uh, really take it to heart and um, build off it each and every day. Travis? Hey, Andrew, uh, going back to, to last season, you know, I know you talked a lot about Coach Campanelli and Coach Clark helping you with different aspects of the game. A little bit of shuffling this year with Clark going to the D-line camp, still at linebackers, and then Rob Leonard, obviously, your outside linebackers coach. My question is, how does the collaboration of how all those guys kind of come together to to get the best out of you? Like, what's the process for I guess, how you're coached by that trio of coaches. Right. Um, I'd say, you know, they they all do such a great job in their position groups. And um, on this defense, you got to be versatile because so you, so, you can play any different role. So um, just being able to learn different input or outputs and um, from each coach um, really helps improve your game and just getting their understanding of the game as well. Um, ultimately is going to make you to a better player getting hearing it from three instead of just the same thing from one coach over and over again. So I think um, just having all of them there has really honestly helped benefit my game. And um, hopefully this year I can take it to another level. Armando. So congratulations again on the baby in case you have twins. Now it's two. <laughs> right. Uh, um, so what do you want to improve this off season? And I know you're going to want to say everything, but if you could be a little bit specific about what you want to address and make sure that it's better come the season. Um, yeah, I'd say continue to work on my pass rush. Um, you know, whenever I can get my, you know, win percentage or um, be able to be a tackle cleaner or whatever the case may be um, quicker and faster, um, it's the biggest thing, just um, be able to explode off the line and be able to bend the edge or, you know, get stronger and counter inside. So I'd say that's the biggest um, part of my game that I would like to improve on. Thank you. Yep. We had time for two more. We got Austin Wade and we'll go to South Bend and then Hal. Yeah. You know, Andrew, uh, talking about the second year jump that you had and the, and the production that you had, obviously what you were doing, you know, was was working to an extent. Um, what, what is that feeling like knowing that you saw some results last season and, you know, how excited is, are you to put in the work to possibly see more? Uh, you know, um, each year I come in and train as hard as I can to um, put me in the best position to succeed. And, um, you know, I, I think the coaches will put me in the right spot to, you know, help me succeed and help um, develop me as a player. So, you know, I'm looking forward to um, – going out there and just um, use that relentless effort and, um, you know, try to help the team win.
Last one, Hal. You know, going back to the whole thing about having a baby during training camp, it, it struck me how unfortunate it is that you no longer have uh, a quarterback on your team who knows all about juggling football and kids because he had seven of them. <laughs> but, right. but I wanted to ask you um, about the jump that the defense made in general last year. Um, I believe you were number six in scoring. Um, what did Josh Boyer do in his first year as coordinator that made things come together as well as they did? I think it's everybody believing in um, his coaching and um, everybody buying in, you know, everybody was doing their specific job at, and nobody was trying to do anything extra. You know, if you take care of your business and um, make sure your grass is green, um, everything will be fine. You know, you don't need to be worrying about your neighbor's grass. Um, just take care of your grass and everything will take care of itself, you know, and as a defense, you'll come together and um, you'll be a darn good defense for sure. So you're going to text Ryan? Yeah, right. <laughs> Might have to. <laughs>